This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Hey guys, it's me Andres Dax here and welcome back to Subnautica. So today we have two, well I have two objectives. So first of all, I'm going over there, stranded near a cave system under attack uh, because I could find a sea moth over there. So um, yeah, um, another one is, I'm really sorry, but I am not ready to go there. I need a lot of stuff. I need gears that I don't have blueprints for. So. I need to find them, so I'll go to the ship in the next episode, but for now, I'll go to that misty fog place. You guys have no idea what that is, so uh, first of all, I'm going to do a bit farming because I want to make some water for my journey because I'm going to go the both the places at once, so, well, I guess I'll try to do that, so I'm ready, so... Let's go 400 meters. Huh? Alright, let's go then. There's a long journey ahead. Oh, this freaking place gives me the chills sometimes. It's so, so creepy looking. Look at this place. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so, wait a minute. So, I might introduce to you guys a creature, okay? You have... Oh, there you go. There's another one. Life pot 17. You have heard this creature before. It's this big boy. These creatures have the best sounds. So, this is a reef back. You know? It has a really big back. A oh, reefy boy. This is a gigantic one. There's also little ones. Yeah, there you go. There's a little one. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a giant wreck. Oh, dude, we might just... Oh, yeah, oxygen. Shit. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Huh. Man, I just love this game. This game cannot be more perfect. Oh, wow, I just jumped like a dolphin. Huh. So, I need to get inside. Is there a way now? <gasps> oh, oh god! Ah! Those are called shan sharks. Those are shan sharks. Uh, sh okay, I can't even speak because I got so scared. Did I trap him? I guess I did. Those are called sand sharks, so... Those guys can go underneath the ground and all. Shit thing. Ah, oh, dude, I cannot get into that because it needs a freaking laser cutter. That sucks very bad. Something in here? No. Damn it. They sound like a targ. They sound like a tight. Ooh. What the hell is this place? Oh, okay. Okay. That's for some different, different episode. I cannot deal with that shit right now. <gasps> I just found another laser cutter fragment. I guess this is the last one. Thirty seconds. Another one, really? You gotta be kidding me. Please be there. Yes! Found another one. And I need to get up fast! My oxygen is decreasing very fast, so I gotta go. I just have 9% power in this freaking thing. I'm not even done with this place. Okay, so I gotta go for what I've came here to do. Come here to do. Which is over that place, right there. But also keep an eye out for sand sharks. Oh, oh, is that a sea moth? Hell yeah. How many? One of three. Holy crap. Okay, found one of these. Okay. Oh my. 
God. Passing 100 meters. I know, Oxygen Susan. Efficiency decreased. Oh my God. Oh, I can see a way in. Holy crap. I have 2% battery in this shit. Damn it. I need to get up and get some oxygen. Okay, so I'm going to leave this place after I've gone through the whole ship. And also I've got all the... Hey, Reefy. Ah. Okay. Change it to this one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll go inside first. Because... Why not? Ooh, command chair. Okay, I'll take everything. I'll scan every single thing. Um, anything else here? Nothing. Nothing. That's a. F how is that even working? Okay. Degassi. Degassi crew man manifest. Damn it! I can't go through that. Oh wait, I can go through here. Haha! Ooh, in your face! Ooh, it's so weird. Ah. Uh, I could scan something. What is it? Propulsion cannon! Hell yeah! That is something that I need to get into the ship. A propulsion cannon. A floodlight. Oh my god, what the heck is that? What was that? Ah, oh, something. Okay, so... Anything else in here? It's so hard to look. <laughs> it's all, like, backwards and shit. Sideways. Anything else? No? Nothing. Really? Wait, didn't I have a flashlight? Damn, I should have made a flashlight. I also need a beacon. So I can, like, you know, mark this area. I would like to come here again. Oh, hey, look. There's another passenger. Oh, I found another one. I found another Seamoth fragment. It's right there. Oh, I also saw a propulsion cannon. Okay. Just one more CMOD to go and found a propulsion cannon. Boom jams. Well, salvage. I don't care. Okay. I just need one more um, CMOD fragment. Where can I find that now? Help me! <laughs> Okay, I need to get home as fast as I can because it's getting night time. And night time is not safe at this place. Believe me. Mm-mm-mm. Got another one. Here's a sea moth. See? That's what it looks like. It's freaking awesome. Oh, I got another one. Really? Damn. I don't need that. So, okay. It's getting night time. I'm getting scared. So I gotta get out of here. Okay, so I'll go back home. Oh, wait. Uh, I found another thing, right? Uh, data downloads Aurora Survivors. 17 crew log. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. Wow. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. I came, but you died already. Okay, so it's getting morning time. And, okay, I gotta go there. Um... Am I packed? Am I good? I think I'm good. So... Okay. Should we head off now? Alright. Let's go. Okay, now we are still in the sparse- Oh my god! You cannot see shit! That is the creepiest thing. You know what? I'm gonna go to- uh, I see land, I see land, I see land, I see land. Oh my god, the music's not helping me at all. Oh my god. I am scared. So, yeah. Oh my 
god. Well, I'm here. I didn't actually see this. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. What? Freaking rocks. Yep. Here we are. So this is an island. In a freaking alien planet. There's a freaking island. My life pod's right there, so... Yep. We are on an island. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys can see... Multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. What energy surfaces? There's another base up there. I wonder those bases are finished by now. Because when I used to play it, it wasn't finished. Like, as you can see, those guys, right there, those guys are the floaters that I talked about. They were small, but they grew, I guess. Can I kill this, guys? No, but I can get into those guys. Fun. But yeah, as I was saying, the half of the 50% of this whole game lies underneath the island. This island. Right underneath the island. And you... I have no idea what you're up to now. Okay, can I self scan? Can I self scan? Still normal. Cool. Okay, so don't worry, we don't have. Oh god, what the heck is that? Ah! I was just about to say we, they didn't um, implement any land animals, but I just saw a thing, a spider-like thing, which had just four legs. Doors aren't supposed to be here. Wait, were they always here? I don't actually notice them. Oh, they're, they're right there! They can attack you, I guess. <gasps> Get out of my freaking face, dude. Oh, you wanna play? I'll play then. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, they have eyes. Yep, they have eyes. Java Cup. Cool. Okay, so... Whoa! There's a freaking small area of water. <gasps> I didn't mean to drop, but it's fine. Damn it, dude. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Another radio transmission? What the hell is that? A cave? Okay, I am not here for the caves. I'm just here to go on top of the... Okay, I can't go there. Cool. Thanks. Amazing. Okay, so I'm just here to uh, look for things, you know, a way to get up the island. Okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll just explore. Oh my god! What the hell? I just lost health, but it's fine. What the hell is this? Is this this teleporter? This has to be a teleporter, right? Damn. So if you guys didn't know, um, well, I didn't actually expect it to be that easy to find. So if you guys didn't know, well, actually you didn't. So, uh, we are in a quarantine planet. This whole island is infected. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get out of this place. Don't tell me I'm stuck. You can't tell me what to do. So yeah, this whole island is infected, and uh, we are dying. What the fuck was that? The heck was that? Do you guys hear that? As if somebody banged something. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll... Okay, I have no choice to drop down. Okay, yeah. Totally sidetracked, but yeah. This place is in quarantine. There were people in this island. Or in this planet. There were people. There were actually people. There were scientists in this place. So, they uh, made this place quarantine. They were testing out shit and something broke out, I guess. Well, 
you know what something is, right? Yeah, something means something broke out and infected this whole planet. Like the Dharma Initiative. They were like the Dharma Initiative, first of all. Wait, there's two? Okay, you know, Susan. Okay, I'll do it. Please. Okay, I'll, there, were, there are two bases. I have no idea how I'm like climbing these shit. I'm a mountain climber. Okay, can I scan these? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Takes a little bit of time, but it's fine. Okay, bulkhead. Found bulkhead. Spotlight. Acquired. Acquired. Hey, Aurora. How's it going? Nothing else? Cool. Can I get in? <gasps> Thank you. A supply crate here? Oh, I got another disinfected water. How nice. Thanks. Whoa, what was that? Observatory. Observatory. Nice. Okay, so next episode, there is going to be two objectives. First one is to build a base. And the second one is to... Um, Go to a, go to the ship because I have everything now. Uh, can I take this indoor robot? Yeah, I can also farm with these things have. So I think. Oh, okay. Bart Torgal. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <laughs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. There's always the view, Bart Torgum. So he was a Degassi survivor. The first, um... The first spaceship, or the first... Yeah, the first spaceship that landed... What the... The first speech The first spaceship that landed here. And crashed. What the heck is that noise? As if somebody's like going through the forest cutting woods and all. Which I know there isn't anyone like that. Wow, this is something. It's cool. <laughs> so these guys were the Degassi survivor, the first spaceship that the first yeah. The first ship that crashed in here was the Degassi survivor, so survivors actually. Woo, Chinese potato plants. Can I eat them? I guess I can. Ooh. What? Can I take them all? Oh, three? Really? You know what? I'll take two because I can plant these things in a base. So, I'll take the mold. Marble melon? Okay. Cool. Can I take these? No. Degassi voice log. Habitation location. Okay. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay, so these guys are coming in to attack. Oh. Okay, so I need to s uh, scan these... E sc okay, I need to kill you guys because you guys are a pain in the ass. Actually, you kind of are, so... Whatever. You know what? I'm gonna kill this guy. <gasps> There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Can I kill them all? I killed one. I killed your brother. Ha! 
suck on that bitch. Um, okay. What the heck is... Whoa. It even has an animation now. Voice log 4. Integrating new PDA data. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. No. People. Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. New blueprint acquired. Wall planter. Okay, so yeah, as they said, they found the purple New artifact that I just took, acquired. so there were people before them. Multi-purpose room, hell yeah. I don't think there's anything else to scan in this place. Uh, well, yeah, I just got a stasis rifle thing. Can I get? Yeah, thank God. Another log, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna read that afterwards. But first, I need to survive. <laughs> Another one, really? Damn. Okay, so uh, did I miss anything else? I don't think I did. Uh, hello. I really need a thing. A uh, stasis rifle and also a flashlight, okay? Made a mistake not making a flashlight. Okay, Jesus, dude, get up! Christ almighty. Small marble melon. Okay, you know what, I'll just... Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Yep. Okay, there's another one. Storm. Integrating new PDA data. Here we go. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food? From the air. I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. 
only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. True, very true. Oh my god. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What signal? Integrating new PDA data. Another Degassi's base? See, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Am I gonna get another signal? Oh no, that's the signal. Okay. Alright, so... Okay, I'll go to my... B uh, I'll go to Jeffrey now. Because I am done with this island for now. So yeah, um... I will actually wanted to see what this radio transmission is for now. Okay, Jeffrey, I'm back now. <sighs> yeah. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. <laughs> burial detail. Where is this guy? Over there. Cool. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you guys want to see some more of my videos, click here, here, or here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video for now. Bye guys.